Hi everybody, this is Cory with the Coriolis Diamond Painting Effect. Thank you for coming to my channel. Um, this is just, a, it'll probably be a little bit of a whip and chat and a, a, a hobby, hobby, hobby lobby haul. I don't, I mean, for me it's a haul. I don't usually spend very much money anywhere at one time. But, um, I had to come to Victoria, Texas uh, for a doctor's appointment and I, I brought some Amish people that they, I drive for the Amish sometimes and they, um, they need to go work on their beehives and so they need to stay in this area till dark. So I have time on my hands again in my car. Victoria has a Hobby Lobby, which is excitement for me. So I went and looked around and guess where I looked? There we go. Um, yeah, I had to buy it. It was $14.99. I could have used a coupon, but because I chose to use it on something else. Something I said I would probably never buy because I don't want to spend the money on this. But I did it. I finally broke down and did it. I used my 40% off coupon. It was originally $36.99, so $37 basically, and so I I used my 40% off coupon and um, got almost half off. Um, I'm excited to use this for some of my smaller paintings. Um, I, I made a bigger portfolio, someday I'll show that to you guys, I made a bigger portfolio for my, my larger paintings, but the smaller ones kind of, I, I'd like to be able to show them off, not just say, look, here's a stack of my paintings, you know. Anyway, that that's my haul. I, I'm kind of excited about it. Um, as it turned out, because I brought the Amish, they helped pay for gas. So I had that extra money to spend on, at Hobby Lobby, which is wonderful for me so it's worth it to me to just sit back and wait um, for them okay the other theme I also discovered that Victoria has an Aldi I had heard a lot about Aldi stores and I guess nobody really was able to paint that picture for me oh my goodness oh my goodness I, I, I couldn't believe you could get a can of diced tomatoes for 37 cents I I, I I was speechless. I didn't have a whole lot of money, but I spent every last dime I had at Aldi. I'm just saying. Um, it'll be worth it for me to shop, do my grocery shopping when I come to the doctor's appointments now. Uh, now that I've made that discovery. Um, you can't get everything you need there. It's a very small Aldi. I think it's probably one of the smallest in the universe. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I think I'll... I'll I'll get some of my staple things. I'll I'll spend my time, you know, this little bit and and try some of those products and see if they are any good because none of them are name brand. And um, but if those are good products, if I like them, I'll just wait and save my grocery shopping and come to Aldi. Uh, I you know I can't do all of it there, but I can do a lot a lot. Um, the other thing is I brought this along. Um. I wonder, I could probably move the car so that the shading is better. Um, uh, I took, that. this is kind of the reason why I'm going ahead and doing another video so soon on this same painting. When I got home, I, I've got a piece of styrofoam uh, poster board and I cut a piece just this big the reason why it's this much bigger than the painting, I think I would have been happy with it to be just the size of the painting. But 
I also put put my light pad on it. I, you know, when I was at home, I was using my light pad. I decided with this painting, I don't really, during the day, I don't really need a light pad, so I went ahead and left it home. This is what I use on my paintings at home also. This little piece of plastic, um, it, um, it's just contact paper, contact brand, contact shelf liner, but it's made out of a, a vinyl or a plastic. I, I don't know my plastics, but it's very soft but thick and a little bit heavy piece of plastic. And I cut it to the size of this painting. And one of the problems I have with, with either the clear or the opaque covers is once you start, especially when you're gonna do a diamond painting where you do like the small one, I decided to pick a number or a color and do all of them on the whole painting of that color before I move to the next color. And so the problem you have when you do that is it's difficult to get your cover paper to stick again. And so this plastic, it sticks to the sticky and it's a little bit harder to pull up than the regular cover is. But once you get it up, it doesn't pull the glue up. The glue, the glue is still stuck on your canvas and there's no sticky left on this. And it's heavy enough that even if there's not sticky in these areas right here, the weight of it will keep it down and keep dust and stuff out of it. Now, this, um, I just clipped it at the top, at the top with these, uh, I can't think of the word, with these kind of clips, these really handy dandy little clips any kind of clip would work work I even thought about using my stapler and just stapling it and I would just always use this board for any time I had a, a painting this size um so anyway I out of out of the roll of contact paper that I got I was able to do a, about a 40 by 50 piece for the 40 by 50 that I'm working on at home to cover it and there was a little bit left over and I could still do one more this size uh, out of this paper and, and there's still a little bit more than that left but they're they're smaller sizes I even thought about going ahead and using the smaller squares when I'm doing my diamond painting usually what I do on the big ones is I go ahead and cover the whole thing with this this and then as I'm what I'm working I still have the other whatever kind of cover I have going the the opaque one the one like Kua can has I still have that going underneath as because I normally just work section by section and that way I'm still using that that covering here but once I pick it up and start drilling then I I, I won't I won't put when you know the paper will no longer stick there I go ahead and cut that away and just you know just let this this way down on it while I'm not working on it and that really is mostly all this is for is for when I'm not working on it um, except in this case when I'm using it to travel I am using it for the cover for the glue too as I work um, this is probably the stickiest I've ever had this problem happen, and I think it's probably because I've had it mashed in my bag all day. You know, it's not just the weight of it on there. It's been mashed in there probably a little more than I like. Right here, you see where I cut the paper. I'm not sure if I cut it or who can cut it, but there's little pieces of, of where that paper was cut that ended up in the seam. And that's the reason why it's not a good idea to to cut your cover paper that comes with it, especially if you cut it right on top of the canvas. Um, so that is my tip on my diamond painting. If you like, maybe I'll do an unboxing of my unicorn. I I can't believe it's taking me so long to do this one. I my life has suddenly become so busy and 
crazy with the doctor's appointments, not, not my doctor's appointments, but those around me who need help getting to their appointments. Um, this whole week has been nothing but that. And to top it all off, we've got dogs that wait to eat and we're trying to keep them intact because they're purebred. We want to do at least one litter. Um, before we get them fixed, but I, I'm not ready, ready for that yet, which I may just get them fixed because I don't know that I'll ever be ready for that. <laughs> okay. This is the Unicorn by Diamond Art Club. It's a leisure arts. Um, here's the package. This is a dazzle area right here. I don't know way, which way I'm going to end up putting this on the film when I when I post it, so I'll show it both ways there. Um, let's see if it even has a title. It doesn't, I don't, I'm not seeing a title anywhere. It is an intermediate for ages 13 and over. I think I qualify. Um, I was hoping that we'll get a discount for it because it said children's kits were 40% were off and I was hoping they would count this as a children's kit, but they didn't. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'd gotten a bigger one, beginner one if they would or not, but I guess diamond art stuff is in a class all its own. All on its own. And it comes in a plastic bag. Um, let's see what else is in here. The drills. A piece of cardboard that I don't need. Um, the drill kit is in with the drills. Sorry about the noise. Okay. It has the wax in a container, which I'm excited. I I kind of like having the wax in a container. I, I wish they all did that. I got a green squishy. A clear pen. Rachel Way is looking for these. If anybody has spare ones, she's looking for as many as she, I think she needs about 50 right now. And it has a gray boat. And it has some baggies. Probably not enough for this painting, but it's a, it's a fair amount. It's, it's more than most do. Um, these are the colors. I'm checking to make sure none of the bags are broken. Brown, brown drills. A2. It looks like there's. If, if numbers are anything to go by that are here, there are 14 colors. It goes up to A14. Um, let me turn this over so maybe you can see the colors better. That's not very pretty background but unboxing in my lap the trials and tribulations of a traveling diamond painter okay I have gotten a leisure art, arts kit before. I've got the umbrella, the one with the rain and the umbrellas. Um, but I haven't done it yet. It's in my stash. So I still have yet to do, do one. Um, I'm going to put 
put these back in the box so I don't lose them all over the car. Um, okay. Leisure Arts. We have the directions here. They have 11 steps in their kit. So the drill area is just the unicorn itself, which is fine for something like this. I'm, I'm okay with that. It's a pretty background, but I don't know if you can tell, but the background kind of has really, it's all pink, but there's about a little bit fainter pink whites, not white, but very light pink stars of all different sizes back there. The droop field is very clear. Here's the, let's see if I can get it to focus. This one looks like it will be very fun to do. I think they all are fun. Um, this isn't... I... This is kind of a different back... Um, canvas. Kind of like a satiny... Satiny... Um, I don't know if you can even tell. Satiny kind of feel to the top side. But the back side is very ribbed. Kind of like... A ribbon or something. Um, anyway, it's it's unusual. This is I I don't think my other diamond art um, leisure art. I'm sorry. How many times did I say that? I don't I don't think my other leisure art was like this. But like I said, I didn't work with it, so I don't know. Um, Anyway, this looks like it's another one that I could take on the go. It's not quite as small. So it would be a little bit more difficult. But it is a nice small one that I think would, can be done quickly. Um, about the covers. I used to think I liked the white covers better or the opaque. But I've, begun, I've begun to learn that the clear covers usually you have less problems with the canvas when the when the cover is clear, and um and 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 since I end up doing something different as I'm working it, it doesn't really matter. Um, this. This stuff isn't, it's, it's, you can't really cut this. When you, once you start cutting with it, it's no longer, in my opinion, it's not stable anymore. Um, it's hard to control. Um, if you cut just a little ways up, it, it may go all the way up. You, you know, you have to, it has to be very controlled. This particular film is rather thick. It's not the ones I'm used to having. Um, and so it looks like this would be easier to work with it. Like it would lay down even if you don't have your drills are here and they're not, it doesn't stick to it. It would probably lay down and not be as flighty. Um, I really like with the opaque ones, I like being able to just cut out a section and work that section. I, I like that. It's not that I care whether or not I see this. 
it's just easier to cut and work with that way. So, anyway, I'm going to roll this sweet design. It's called Dela One Flower Unicorn. Hmm. It doesn't really say flower. It's abbreviation for flower, I think. Anyway, we'll, so we'll just call it Flower Unicorn. And that's that's that unboxing. I, I'll tell you what, people, I've got stacks, stacks of unboxing. Like a whole month's worth of unboxings at home. And I think for some reason I went crazier than normal. And so I have a lot. But once that goes, I really am going to stop. I don't have anywhere to put them now. Um, I, I really do want to make room for them. I probably won't stop buying them. I mean, look at me today, right? I, I already bought some and I wasn't planning to. So, but I, it's definitely going to slow down. Um, there's things that need taken care of financially in my life and and I can't do it when I'm buying diamond paintings. And on top of that, it's it's getting hot down here in South Texas and my electric bill is going to be higher because I don't suffer the heat quietly. <laughs> when it's hot, I want my AC cool. So AC is going to take precedence for the next couple of months. Um, it, it really, it makes about a hundred dollars difference and, and that's about what I have. That's about my income that I have flexible uh, that I can make choices in that spending. Everything else is, I don't have a choice. It, 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 everything else has to be paid. I mean, the electric bill has to be paid. The phone bill has to be paid. And, um, so, with that, um, I, I, I feel blessed because for some reason I have been able to do it. I have, when I first started doing this diamond painting, I was actually kind of mournful, like feeling sorry for myself because I could never get, I would never, I was scared of running out of a diamond painting. And so I kind of went overboard and bought, you know, I was afraid of running out again. That's not going to happen anytime soon now. And so I can kind of relax. But I was in fear that I wouldn't be able to do this thing that I found that I love so much. And I've been so blessed because for things have worked out um, for me so that I've been able to do it. Um, my cupboards didn't have a... Have, have done, honestly haven't done any real grocery shopping in quite a while but I found out I didn't you know it's all right <laughs> it's a quite all right so um, I'm still eating obviously I've still got meat on me so um, that's we're doing good <sighs> okay thanks for watching thank you for joining me in the Coriolis diamond painting effect I think my camera stopped. Ah. Well, um, I thought my camera had stopped, but it hadn't. I, I, it was flashing and the light was flashing, so I thought it was over for me. Um, I was going to do a whip and chat with this, but at this, it ended up, it's already been about 23, 25 minutes long, and I... That's about right for a, a diamond painting video, I think. Um, that's about the length I like to watch. So, um, I'll go ahead and cut it off here. And maybe we'll do a whip and chat another day. Um, hopefully soon I can get to those other unboxings that I have. Um, until then, you guys take care. I've, I'm excited that you've joined me for the Coriolis Diamond Painting Effect. Take care and see you in the next one.